Hey guys, it is Gabriel HD here, and welcome to yet another video on my channel. Now, um, recently haven't been uploading because FIFA's pre pe uh, FIFA is pretty dry at the moment, and haven't really been sure what to upload. But EA have released the footies just a few days ago, and I have been kind of clearing out my club recently to make some teams and stuff for you guys. But I decided, you know what? Let's go out, get the footies. They're a very, very good trading idea because obviously their prices will be going up and well at the moment they will be going down pretty much but then they'll go out of packs and the ones that get up great that win the footies vote will automatically get upgraded pushing their prices up so today I decided let's make the footies team uh, footies team now in the footies there are only two center backs um, John Terry and Eric Dyer which means that obviously you can't play a four at the back because there's no left back, right back, unless you played a left mid or right mid or something like that. Side to side, let's go three, four, one, two, make a team around this. So in gold, we have got, I do own almost all the footies, but just from the Premier League, we'll pretty much just set it as. I'm going to go with Hugo Lloris in left centre back. Uh, actually, let's start with the right centre back. We're going to have Eric Dyer in left centre back. We will have John Terry like that. But then in the set, uh, left centre back, we're going to have a CDM called Lee Catamol, I believe. Yes, Lee Catamol. Um, also, most of these players are fresh. A few of them aren't, but that is an except those uh, exceptions. Then in left mid, we do have Yannick Balassi. Left centre mid, we have uh, Milner. Right centre mid, Delhi Ali. In right mid, we have Magidi. Now you could go with Willian. I just have not been able to purchase him as of yet. I'm hoping to soon. In Cam, we have Mez Ozil. Of course, you could also have uh, De Bruyne. As you can see on the bench down here, Sigurdsson or Eriksson. Uh, in game, I will probably sub on Sigurdsson and Eriksson just to give you an idea of how they play. Um, Eriksson has no games played for me, and same as Sigurdsson, which is good. None of these players I have used, I don't think. So that is very good. Um, in striker, of course, there is only one Premier League striker, I believe, in the um, whole of the footies from the, uh, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below, but first one is Vardy, I also realised today he only has 40, oh no, sorry, I was reading a stat wrong, I thought he had 44 defending, today, but I read that wrong, and in the other position we're going to have a right forward called Riyad Mahrez, so this is of course the full team, uh, Hugo Lloris, Catamol, the CDM in left centre back, John Terry Adaya, if you have a look though, pretty slow defence, Catamol 68 pace, which is pretty good, uh, for a setter back, Terry with 34 and Dyer with 64. So overall, it's not the paciest defense you could find, but should be very strong uh, nonetheless. In left mid, Yannick Balassi, good pace, but other than that, not the best. Uh, Milner and Delhi Ali in center mids. Right mid is McGeady, but you could have, of course, like I said, Willian Cam is Ozil, who I got for 80k. I think his price has dropped a little bit since then, but hopefully De Bruyne will be able to fit in at some point and... We then have Vardy and Mahrez up front. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, don't, oops. Uh, of course, also, I do have a manager because otherwise, just to put on an extra chem point to Catamol and Mahrez. Um, so I put Pellegrini in just because he's from the Premier League. And then, of course, Sigurdsson Eriksson on the bench and just a bunch of other footies. Um, um, if you want to trade with them, pretty much just buy the ones you think are going to win or have the best chance of winning. Uh, from the list on the EA Sports Twitter page. If I remember, I'll put it in now, or otherwise a link of it will be in the description for you guys. But, you know, there's all the different groups, and you pretty much go through it. You pick which ones you want to win, which you can vote for. Otherwise, just look through the groups, pick a bunch which you think are going to win. Don't buy a heap, cause, but a lot of them are very, very cheap. If I show you the prices here, Larissa got for 64k, expensive, but then Dive for 24, Terry for 21, Catamol for 12, McGeady for 12, Ali for 32, Milner for 12, Balassi for 55, Ozil for 80, Mars for 60, and Vardy for 50 pretty much. But overall, a lot of the a lot of them are very, very cheap. The ones in good leagues are a bit more expensive, but go out, pick up the ones you think are going to win, keep them. If they get upgraded, they'll get a gold thing when you have a look on it here, where it says Vardy. That pink strip in the middle there, that will turn gold, I do believe. Um, so pick up a card if you think it's going to win. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, hope it wins. Otherwise, uh, also, yeah, I was going to say, when they come out of packs on Saturday, uh, 29th of July, which is in 
Actually, you won't even you won't be able, even be able to vote because this video will come out after the voting has closed. Because voting closes in a, about a day from where from when I'm recording this, and I probably won't have it already. But what was I going to say? Um, pick up cards. You keep them when they come out of packs on the 29th. That will be when the upgrades happen, which is in about two and a half days from now. Um, Saturday morning here. It's Tuesday now. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 29th. That's in about three and a half days, actually. Yeah, three and a half days um, from when I'm recording this. Uh, and their prices will go up. Everyone should because they'll be out of packs. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Share the channel, share the video. And the link's down below on my Twitch and my Twitter. Go and check those out. And I hope you guys do enjoy all the clips I get with this team. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much just talk about the team uh, during the gameplay. Now, there aren't, obviously, there aren't a heap of clips, I must say. But it started off pretty well. Um, John Terry getting a goal there, but uh, counted as an own goal. But, yeah, the team. Um, I'm not too sure about it. It wasn't the best. Like, even though, yeah, we were getting goals uh, quite a lot, actually, especially in this first game that I played. And even in the other games, even though we lost, like, I... It wasn't really minding if we can see the goals or not, but three at the back is not the best formation. Very, it leaks a lot of goals, I must say. Even if you have a look at other YouTubers' videos, they also say three at the back: three five two, three four one two, three four three, uh, three four two one. All of them leak goals. Even though you have a very strong attack and an okay midfield, it's still just once you get past your midfield, you just got three defenders, and also they're very slow. John Terry with not much pace. Um, Catamore with about 70 pace and Die with about 60, I think 64 pace or so, which means like they, they are pretty fast. But if they get past Dyer, let's say if I mess up the tackle with Dyer, you've got John Terry and he's too slow. Same thing, Cat. And then you know if it, John Terry can't do it, not enough time for Catamore to get over before the guy scores. So that was the problem with the defence. Now with the midfield, Ozil was Ozil. Um, he didn't actually do a heap though, but he was very good on the ball. Uh, played very well. Jamie Vardy and Mares were very good, but um, let's start with Balassi, I think. Balassi was quite defensive, it felt like. Um, for, like when I was try even just trying to pass the ball to him, I had to change the instructions because he was always literally playing as like a left back. Um, and he was too far back, so when I tried to pass the ball to him, there was no one on the left mid, left wing. So uh, that was his problem. Right mid was McGeady, he was always there. I think it felt a bit like it. I'm not tired, uh, but you know, I wasn't really playing down the right that lot, uh, that much. Then where else? Um, the center mids, Milner and Deli Ali, they were pretty good. Uh, Milner did score a very nice goal, as you'll see towards the end of this clip, uh, towards the end of the video, I think, in the middle. Um, but that was about it with Milner. He was pretty good on the ball, did quite well, same as Deli Ali. But overall, did not do that much for the team. Um, what else? Yeah, Jamie Vardy and Myros were easily the best two players on the team. Uh, Jamie Vardy got a lot of goals. I think that was the goal there by Milner, as I'm uh, for the in the second game one. I think that yeah, James Milner. There's a very nice goal there by him. Um, but yeah, Jamie Vardy and Myros started off very well. They got a lot of goals. Also, I would say probably because of their pace, how fast they are. That's really why they get all, all of their goals, and that set them up for well to be probably the best to be the best two players on the team. But yeah, overall it was not the best team. Um, if you're planning on making this exact team, which I hope some of you wouldn't, don't, because it's not one not worth it. Because all the footies card, the footies cards are the exact same card stats as their base gold cards. So if you want to make an EPL team, make a better team with four at the back, five at the back for cheaper and much better. I just did this team because it's fun to make. I had uh, I had the coins which I didn't need so I decided to buy some buy the footies. And yeah, that, that's really about it. Like it's about as much the goals altogether as you've been seeing are pretty good I must say. I mean a lot of finesse, like a lot of pretty much in the box shots, because that's what Jamie Vardy are good at. Uh, Jamie Vardy and Myers are good at, but still, even like this goal here, 
He had a lot of the times just bumping around, but great finish shot there by Riyad Mahrez. I think that was counted as an own goal from Boateng for some reason. I don't know why or how, but it was. And yeah, overall it was just inside post OP um, a lot of the time, and that's about it. But yeah, like not much else to say. That was the last goal. So I hope you guys did enjoy all of that footage of the team. Uh, like I would have probably said in like I'm recording this segment now. I'm recording straight after playing of the games, and I actually haven't edited or done the post comp on the gameplay yet. So um, as I probably would have said, that the team was it started off pretty well, but it was overall pretty bad, which I have to say was probably down to the formation. Three four one two, not the best three at the back this year is shockingly bad. Um, also. You know, like Balassi, he was very, very bad. Don't get, I don't like Balassi that much. Um, yeah, right mid, left mid, it was a very much just Mares and Vardy were up front, and there was no one supporting them. Everyone else was back. And like Balassi was pretty much playing as left back, and Magidi, I could never, I never saw Balassi and Magidi pretty much. Like they're always just hidden. That's what it felt like. Um, Ali and Milner, like they're good, but again, like pace is really what lets the team down. Um, 34 pace Terry, not enough. Dyer as well, the pace and Cadamore, like, all together, I think it was just kind of like the pace and the formation, everything just really let this team down. And, yeah, from that, we, I, I scored quite a few goals. Not a heap, not as many as I was hoping for, but, um, it wasn't, it was still quite a few. A lot of own goals as well, for some reason. Like, a lot of, like, the first goal of the thing was... You know, I'm pretty sure it was Terry. Gets yeah, it was Terry. He gets in, uh, cur curls it in. Was given an own goal, and then towards the end, Myers also had an own goal in the last game that I played. Which I don't know which order you'll see it in at all from doing this, but probably won't be in order. But that's going. Uh, I'm going to show the stats. Um, Lloris obviously five games and nothing. Then Dyer got one assist in five games. Terry with five games, nothing at all. Catamold as well did nothing. Megidi did nothing, Ali did nothing, Milner got a goal and an assist, his goal was a very, very nice goal. Um, Balassi got an assist, that's it. Ozil, and a goal, five games, that's it. Myers got five game in five games, three goals, two assists, pretty good considering how badly the team played. And Vardy, four goals, two assists, two assists in those five games. Also, Sigurdsson, three games, did absolutely nothing. He did miss a penalty, I'm not sure if I'll put, I might put that in at the very, very end of the... um. Recording, but Sigurdsson did miss a penalty, which is quite annoying. I tried to do it, and the game started. It felt like it was lagging a bit, and it was in the yellow. And I tried to aim it at the top corner, and it pretty much just went like it aimed it a little bit to the left and just up. And like I was moving my stick to the left, but it did it up like to the top left hand corner pretty much. But it just went up over, which is quite annoying. And Ericsson got one goal in three games he played, also a pretty nice goal. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe. Um, uh, my Twitter is in the description below. Um, overall, my, my recommendation for this team is don't buy it. Like one, the cards aren't worth it. Like if I didn't say at the beginning, all the cards they are exactly the same stats as their normal gold cards. So you can make this team with gold cards, and for cheaper you can make it much better. So I just did this because it's the footies, and I was like, why not? Because Pink cards look nice and all of that, but yeah, I don't recommend the team uh, in the pink cards. I would recommend getting a lot of other plays in there. Definitely use a different different formation. Like a lot of people I was coming up against had Aubameyang, Bale, Royce, pacey, pacey um, forwards. And with three at the back, it's pretty easy just to either pass your way through it, especially with, with such slow midfield and defense or such a pretty much slow team. And a useless team of useless players like Balassi Mikiti, um, Ali, who wasn't like Ali's tot. Ali tots is very good, but because I think it's just a silver card, it's just I'm used to using his tots, which I use quite a lot. This one, it's not that good. I don't like it. But yeah, the pace isn't good in this team, so don't use that defense. Obviously, different formation coming up against Aubameyang's, Royce's, Bale's. Who else was there? Sanchez's, Aguero's. Arnautovic, Tots came up against at one point. All these very, very fast players, it just pretty much run down the wing and cross it in, and defense has no chance because either it's too slow and get there in time, or the other, other, or the um, opposition's players are just too quick and they just make it through. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, and 
yeah, that's about it really. And I'll see you in the next video.